Hi, I'm Gilbert Bailey, a recent graduate of Penn State Musical Theater. Hi, my name is Steve Broadnex. I'm a current um, associate professor here at Penn State in the theater department. So, contemporary music structure. 101. Stephen Gilbert. Ballin'. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, contemporary music structure. I really got into the form... Um, I majored um, along with Gilbert in, uh, um, we both have MFAs in musical theater. So I've always been um, writing or I guess studying for the stage, but I also worked professionally um, as a potential hopeful rock star. And um, I was recording a lot um, and writing for different artists in the professional world. New artists, new upcoming artists that were looking for songs I would write for. So um, I've been doing this for a long time that I can remember. So you? And I personally uh, am myself an amateur songwriter and uh, also an audio, audio engineer. So I've worked a lot with other people constructing their songs, arranging their work, and making sure that structurally everything sounds so that it plays well for whatever medium they intend to play it, whatever genre they play, intend to play that particular music. So structure. Um, I find that in contemporary music, um, with Gilbert we were talking about, is the form uh, would be um, pretty much a verse, a, um, a hook, or a chorus, um, another verse, back to the hook or chorus, bridge, then back to the hook or chorus. So that's basic, the things you're going to hear on radio from, I'm going to use artists, you said Kelly Clarkson was a good example. My personal favorite, Michael Jackson. Beat it. Be it. Okay. Um, Beyonce, another one of my favorites. Um, the, the, what you really hear on Top 40 radio, yeah. generally all those artists, even rap artists, use that structure. Yeah. And it's not and in Top 40 contemporary, but it's a, it's a structure that started um, even back, Ten Pan Alley days, all of Irvin Berlin stuff, Those that um, structure pervades. You have verse, hook, verse, hook. They called it chorus. Mm -hmm. And then bridge, which pushes the song to the end finish one more time with the hook, and then we vibe out however we're going to end it, hopefully in a good way, um, and not just a pan down. The, oh, yes. Uh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Another good one. She's a, well, she doesn't really write her stuff, she but the it. artist sings that material. Um, talk about content and how it's developed in in a good song. Well, the basic, the basic premise of the verse hook, verse hook structure is that you have your hook, you have your thing that the song is about, and we use the verses to shade the hook in different colors. So whatever, whatever the chorus is, uh, we take Kelly Clarkson, since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time, I'm still moving on, yeah, yeah, thanks to you, now I get what I want since you've been gone. That's the hook. Yeah. That's what the song is about. Yeah. Our first verse tells a first part of the story, so it should shade the hook in one way. Right. Our second verse tells Doesn't another matter. part of the story so that the hook, it's the same hook, it's about the same thing, but from a slightly different progression of the story, so Absolutely. we see it. And then when we get to the bridge, uh, she's like, you had your chance, you blew it, out of sight, is the final resolution of the song. So, since you've been gone, and then she gets to the bridge and says, I don't want you back. So the song has progressed through. And then I hit you with that hook one more time, say since you've been gone, that's like our thesis. Definitely. We're gonna repeat it over and over again. And then over. So that's what the structure does. It, it's a way of getting you from point A to point end of a song um, by shading and coloring. Yes. Um, and then also, we could talk, I guess, a little bit about structure within rhyme scheme. Um, basic rhyme scheme. And differ that differs from different yeah, people. It depends on how you scan it. The, yeah. the, 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 the thing that becomes, that becomes um, essential is the the verse chorus um, verse structure, yeah. but because most pop nowadays, because like the human rhythm is in four four, yeah, yeah. how it can scan is different, and, and that's where kind of your creativity comes in, and how you set up your rhyme structure and your rhyme scheme, right, in it, right, right. Um, in rap, it becomes complex. Yeah. I find more so than in lyric writing of songs, because most time for rhyme structure, you're dealing with a b a b structure a lot for simplistic song but then you can go a missy 
Elliot. A A A A <laughs> throughout the whole way. A A A A A A. Or you get a little bit more complex, meaning A B C B. Yeah, and I think we should should that. I mean, much like how you would do a poem yes. in a way that A means that the end of this line ends with ack, and B, the end of the next line might end with ick. And then if I go back to A, then the next line is going to look ack. ack. And if I go back to B, the next line. So just so everybody knows what no, I'm what talking about. No, what A, B, about. A, B. Um, much in the same way you work with a poem. Yes. Because that's what music, that's what lyric it's writing lyrical is. lyrical poem. Lyrical poetry. Rhythmic American poetry. Hallelujah. Okay, um, so how do we as um, songwriters and artists take this these principles? And I like to call them principles because it is. I think that's where the art comes in. Is your choice because all of this can be broken. I've heard songs with no hook. I've heard songs that don't rhyme at all, and that's the art, artist's choice. And yeah, you just don't often hear them on the radio, right? Um, there'll be of us track. 11 on CD. Hallelujah. <laughs> but that's a good track, 11. Yeah, but you can take those liberties. Because um, interesting, um, the principles for, I guess, for singles and what an A&R, an artist, um, um, I would look for to, to present out for Top 40. You're right, those songs, top songs have these structures, yeah. the well-written songs. But how do we um, personally go about this? Um, I know we're both pretty structured guys. And I pretty much stick to the form. Nothing that I write um, and what I've written for other artists. Okay, they want singles. Nobody wants us track 11, generally. Um, or what I try to write in my own. We both are right working on musicals now for the contemporary stage and for the contemporary ear. Because my thing is that it used to, uh, Tin Pan Alley and the early forms of musical theater, those were the songs that were on the, the popular song they of the were day. The top, they were the top 40. You would go to theater and you would hear a song that you'd already heard on the radio right and then you would see it dramatized on right. stage that right it was a, a very interesting time in american theater where the where popular culture and theater culture were one and the same and uh not outside of each other yeah we kind of got to that but it's it's more because of our it's more of a bigger broader question of of media and how it affects our culture in that way but to get back to that you know um they used to tell stories in pop structure mm -hmm. on on stage, and now we, a lot of a lot of musicals tell story in a different musical structure. Yes. But nowadays, other musical musicals nowadays musicals are starting to get back to that pop structure to try and reach our audiences right. yes. and things like uh, things like whatever you think about it, High School Musical Sweet. and and Glee in a sense are, are trying to take pop structure and reinfuse it back into storytelling on yeah. on this contemporary stage. Uh, interesting that you said Glee, those both of also, those those, those films, films, those are also but that's, film and that's TV the medium. medium that's saving it yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I think for and the for our generation, that's interesting because then you have like Legally Blondes and, and the Heights who do use that that structure as well uh, have been using pop structure right. as well, um, and they did it on stage. You know? Yeah, but to get more accessible, more is accessible the, to, the, the film to our generation. Yeah, popcorn, Just... microwaves. <laughs> I love popcorn. I do too. Okay, caramel. I like kettle corn. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. So, um, and cause that's how I personally use it. I stick pretty much to the structure. There's some things that I experiment with all all the time, but, um. I pretty much stick to the basic principles of well-made songs. For me, usually it would either... Sometimes it can start off with the hook, verse, hook, chorus, or... I mean, um, chorus, slash, then go to bridge, back to the um, verse. I pretty much stick with that. What about you? Um, I personally always like to know where I'm going. This is like my personal writing a song. Mm -hmm. uh, I always like to know where I'm going, so... Even if I come up with one or two things of a verse, if a verse hits me first, um, I like to go to the hook because the the hook is what I'm shading. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I do a, that too. I the, start with hook always. The hook is what you're shading. I can't write past that. It, 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 it defines <laughs> the song. Right, I can't write past the, the hook. The song is about my hook, and then what I'm saying around it is how what different ways do I want to approach the hook? What what different things do do I think in character? Um, is what different things is this person going through? Um, that defined that it can be defined by that hook. Yes. So I, I personally go that way. But it's the same, and the thing the, the the thing about that structure is that it's it's the same with like a well made play structure. True. It's satisfying. We we feel that we've gone with you on a journey that we clearly understand if you do it correctly. The mm -hmm. best the best songs, um, the best pop songs do that. You feel like I've progressed 
with you through a story mm -hmm. completely. And we, we have uh, an inciting incident, you know, you treated me wrong, you treated me bad, this is how I feel about it. And then we have, you know, our big climactic moment with the bridge and then we denouement. We come and you treated me bad, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore, it's still. You know, so it's, it, uh, it, a good song should feel like a really good, well-made play, or a good pop song, excuse me, should feel like a really good, well-made play. Whereas I've gone on a complete journey that I can track and something on my inner health because the, the sublimity how, that, yes, of something it. that humans like yeah. that we like universal. that trajectory yeah. it's very universal those universal songs yeah.